Welcome back everybody, Martin with Bellavor Auto Spa. If this is your first time at this channel or if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. Uh, today's video, as you can see, is going to be on uh, the new Jay Leno's Garage Ceramic Wash Shampoo. Now this claims to wash and ceramic coat in one step um, and also boost and fortify existing coatings. It's a bold claim, so we're gonna, that's what we're going to test out to see if this adds protection. Uh, you can read the back here if you just want to hit pause. Um, the directions are to shake well, work in a shaded area, uh, and add two to four in ounces to a five gallon bucket or a foam cannon. I've got, I've got about a quarter of a foam cannon, maybe a fifth of a foam cannon, so I'm going to put one ounce. It says rinse vehicle, wash surface with a mitt, and then clean. Now I did just try this in a bucket on my wife's car. I'm shaking up right now. I did just try this in a bucket on my wife's car, which is coated with uh, Adams Advanced Graphene and I didn't really notice any noticeable difference. So I'm gonna try it on a completely stripped panel to see if it adds any protection. Now, I've tested many shampoos that do and do not add protection. Um, Adam's Wash and Coat, Adam's Graphene Shampoo, Adam's Wash and Wax, none of those did anything. Um, graphene Shampoo is a good shampoo though. So we're gonna see if this falls in the same boat. Now behind it I've got, these are all, uh, foaming shampoos slash protection that I've used that do add protection that you see immediately. The only one here is, that I don't have here is, uh, or the only two I don't have here is the Griot's Garage Ceramic Washing Coat and Armor All Ceramic Washing Wax. Those do work, I just don't have them because they're all used up. Um, but we've got the Meguiar's Ceramic Washing Wax. That does not foam, that is a uh, bucket only. You can see my video on that. Carpro Hydro 2 Foam, that's a really good one, one of the originals. Chemex Liquid X. Foam's great, uh, that's a sh more of a sheeter than it is a beater. Chemex Snake Oil, that's just foam on protection. Um, that has better sheeting than Liquid X. Uh, Superior Image, um, Amplify Ceramic Foaming Detailer, that has yeah, decent beating, quick sheeting. And then Ryan West Industries Ionic Soap, and that again is a fast beater, or fast sheeter slash slight beater. Uh, probably these are the two best beating products I've used. Uh, Griot's is pretty good as well. Armor is pretty good as well. The rest of these, um, more sheet water, but they get the water off the panel. They do add protection. So we're going to see if Jay Leno's Garage does that, okay? Um, again, Bucket did not really do that, but no big deal. So I'm not going to measure it exactly. I'm just going to... Two squirts should be at least an ounce, if not more. And this is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro version 2, one of the best foam cannons ever made, if not the best foam cannon ever made. Go ahead and uh, swirl that up. And let's get over to the test panel and see how it works. Alright, so here's the test panel. It's a little windy, so excuse me. Uh, but I'm going to show you that the water does not really work its way off of here. Let me show you. Looking for an improvement over that. You see it slowly sheets away because it is a polished panel, but the water is not quickly evaporating. That's what protection should be quickly removing it. Uh, if it's doing it slow like that, I'm sorry, that's not protection. So we're going to foam on the Jay Leno's Garage. We're going to work it in with a wash mitt. And I do want to show you because I did use it in a bucket. It does foam up nicely in a bucket. That's how it looks in a bucket. So if you are going to use it in a wash bucket, you can expect good suds. I'm expecting good results from the foam cannon. So let's get the foam cannon hooked up and let's see how it does. Turn it to max foam. All right, it's on max.
As for foaming shampoo, you can see it foams amazingly well and it smells great. It's got a really good uh, tropical scent, I like to call it. it. Smells, It smells wonderful. So we're going to work it in the panel and see uh, if it does add any protection like it claims. All right, moment of truth. Just as I suspected. Absolutely doesn't leave any protection behind. False claims. Why am I not surprised? Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, not much integrity in that brand if they're claiming that crap. But it does work as a great shampoo, though. I will give them that. But saying it, <laughs> it's ceramic coats in one step. No way. No way. Sorry, that, that's got to be a joke. Anyways, that's how it works on a panel. Let's go in for the final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts on Jay Leno's Garage Ceramic Wash Shampoo. This stuff costs about 15 bucks a bottle. Is it worth it? Well, depends. Honestly, this looks just this looks just like Adam's Wash and Wax, which is a ceramic fortified shampoo. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's if this is bottled by B&B Blending, who is basically Adam's Blender. They're the same company owns B&B &B and Adams, so everything that comes from B&B &B for Adams is, for all intents and purposes, first party. Everyone else is third party. Um, I wish I had the Adams wash and wax right here, but this is exactly what the stuff looks like. And that didn't add any protection either, so I really think this is just relabeled Adams uh, wash and wax. And yeah, uh, <laughs> wash and ceramic coat in one step. That is a freaking lie. Boost and Fortify existing coating, eh, okay, it, I mean, it, it, it's probably a good cleaner, but um, yeah, uh, and I'm not even going to apologize, guys, that's that's inexcusable, uh, but I will say, you know, if you get this on a good deal, just using it as a wash shampoo for your coated car, non-coated car, whatever, it's going to be great, but if you are expecting this to add protection, like these do, it doesn't do that at all, uh, so would I endorse this product? No, for the claims, yes, for the wash, how it washes, so I'm kind of mixed feeling on that but um yeah that's uh it's not a good look jay leno or jay leno's garage whoever is in charge of the company which is associated with your with uh, jay leno's name not a good look at all but um yeah and for any other company out there watching i i, I test everything if you put something out on the market i'm gonna test it out um you've seen with uh ryan west industries uh you may have seen they put out this ceramic uh glass cleaner didn't work that well didn't work well at all um, but they took that as constructive criticism and they reformulated, so that's integrity. Um, Jay Leno's Garage, I mean, they're probably not even going to watch this or listen to what I say, but yeah. Uh, so don't call, it, don't call it ceramic wash shampoo. Well, you can call it ceramic wash shampoo. Remove this. Just take this off. That, that's a, a blatant lie. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that at all. Like, did you guys test this before you put that label on? Or is this just another case of the marketing team is running rampant and they're completely out of touch and they probably don't even wash their own freaking cars and they have no idea about detailing? I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, leave a comment below with your thoughts. Uh, let me know what, what's your favorite ceramic wash shampoo that actually leaves protection behind. Uh, my favorite overall is probably going to be CarPro Hydro 2 Foam. Um, but this is a strong second. And... I only say this because you can't foam this on. This works incredibly well. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.